ZMAP, a drug created by a San Diego company, was used in an attempt to stabilize two Americans who contracted Ebola during a major outbreak in Africa. The virus has hit three African countries hard, killing more than a thousand people just this year. Even as the worst Ebola outbreak ever recorded is unfolding, MAP Biopharmaceutical, in partnership with Scripps Research, was developing ZMAP, a treatment aimed at stopping Ebola. Here's how they created it. First, researchers gave lab mice parts of the Ebola virus. The mice were tested to see if their immune cells produced antibodies that fight against Ebola. Once antibodies were detected, the immune cells were removed and cloned. The antibodies from the cloned cells were tested on animals, such as mice and monkeys, to see if they were effective at fighting the Ebola virus. Genes inside the cloned immune cells were humanized by replacing mouse portions with human DNA. The new genes with Ebola-fighting antibodies were inserted into a virus that naturally infects tobacco plants, which is a good medium for growing antibodies because they grow fast. Plants are also less likely than animals to transmit their viruses to humans. ZMAP uses three antibodies which work together to fight the Ebola virus. It's thought that two of the antibodies prevent the virus from invading host cells, while the other antibody targets infected cells to be eliminated by the body's immune system. It's still not clear if ZMAP can be credited as a cure, but it appears to be an important step in the fight against the deadly disease.